Hey there, this is Vanessa DeBerlay, and today I'm going to show you how to create great videos on a budget. And what I mean by that is a lot of people, when they want to start making videos on YouTube, they think they have to go out and buy all of this equipment, and it can be expensive depending on what you buy. And yes, you could buy some good equipment for as little as $200, but that's a lot of money for some people. If you have an iPhone or an Android, you can create just record your videos using the phone. If you think about it, the phones are a thousand dollars. You know, if you buy a new one, even if you buy a used one, you're paying four or five hundred dollars. And a lot of cameras cost about that much. So you've got a good camera in your phone, especially if you have the newer phone. So don't be afraid to use that and don't think it's not good enough. So what I'm gonna do today is go over some things that you can do that will help your videos be better quality using your phone until down the road you feel like buying purchasing some other equipment number one is you want to go into your phone this is probably the most important thing go into your phone under settings under and then go under camera and I'll, I'll go ahead and, and post these steps and then change the recording it says record video open that up and it's going to say 1080p x 60 frames per minute by default it's marked probably on the one that says 30 frames per minute up it to 60 frames and the quality of the video is going to be a little bit better and again i'll have those steps right here on this page um, number two when you go to video um, using your phone make sure the screen is clean you're using your screen a lot you're texting getting your thumbprints all over it and everything and um and even you know the little camera up there if you if you haven't thought about using it just kind of clean everything off there's those little static free cloths that you can keep handy and make sure all of that's cleaned off so that you don't see any smudges or anything like that on your video number three this is something that's nice to have but we're talking about not buying anything so we don't have a tripod what do we do tripods are nice by the way um actually that would be the first thing i would buy um and they're like 35 dollars. they're not very expensive but let's say you don't have a tripod you told me you know budget free um find a bookshelf or something and and set it and prop it somewhere so that you can um, make your video in front of that um, I know one person told me they take duct tape and duct tape it to the wall or whatever but just make sure you put it somewhere where it's secure and then you can video from there and one of the neat things I'm sure you video took pictures and videoed from your recorded from your phone you can put a little um, delay you can hit the 10 second delay or three second delay before you start recording so if you hit the button step back into the position you have that 10 seconds to do that all right number four I'm horrible about um, clear background yes I have a clear background but I really prefer when people have a pretty office or something or a pretty wall behind them I just like something to be there but I am in major renovation mode right now as far as getting rid of stuff and making a nice background in my office so what I do sometimes especially when it's nice out I'll go outside we live on a mini farm and you just have the pretty trees and things like that in the background don't be afraid to think outside the box but just make sure like right now if I were to put my desk behind me or my bookcase or something you would go oh my gosh <laughs> so much stuff yeah because I love books so there's thousands of books in my office um so make sure it's not real cluttered and distracting okay so if you've got a pretty wall uh, your living room looks nice that's a nice place so think of it think of yourself when you're watching videos it's it's really distracting when the background is nasty and cluttered and it just not looking nice but um other than that you can go anywhere you can go outside you can you know find a nice room in your house so um definitely pay attention to what's behind you um when you're using your phone yeah you can still see it i was going to say sometimes you know, you're not sure all right um after that when you're using your phone um you want to make sure that you're not smack in the middle um again that's something i forget to think about sometimes because you're thinking you know you're the center but if you go especially if you have a pretty background if you go off to the side a little bit it just feels more casual and feels like the person's talking to you as opposed to taking up the whole screen and being right in your face and again look at some other videos that you enjoy and pay attention to all these little tips and you'll see what a difference it makes look for good videos look for not so good videos and compare and that's how you learn is by watching other people tip number six 
any time you record using your phone, you want to make sure it's horizontal. And that's something I learned a long, long time ago that always make sure it's horizontal because if you go straight up and down, you're going to see black lines on either side. Now, if you're on Instagram or something like that, that's their format fits that. But if you're doing YouTube videos, you want to make sure you're horizontal. And one thing that um, I learned from somebody a long time ago, and this is harder to do, but typically when you videotape yourself, you put your your phone on a tripod or you put it on a shelf and you can see what you're taping. But I met one person uh, a, a couple years ago and she said that you get a better recording on the other side of the phone. The, so what she does is she sets it up at her desk and then she um, uses a tripod or something to secure her phone and lets it record the way it's supposed to, where the person on the other side can see. So you have to play around with a little bit and really make sure that everything fits in the screen or have somebody else video record for you. But definitely if you can do that, you're going to get a better recording because that's the way the phone was made is to record out, not with the screen facing in, even though it does it. Now on your screen, when you, um, you know, try to get the lighting correct, you can play around with that. You know how that little square comes up and you take your finger and get the lighting and where it's going to square. You want to lock it in at five, Point one. So when you hold your finger down, once you see it say 5.1 on that lighting, hold it down and it'll lock it in for you. So that's like the, the best lighting that you can get when you're recording with your phone. The next one is really important and this would probably be the second thing I would purchase, um, a, a microphone. There are, they call them lavalier microphones and they're like 20 to $30. They're not real expensive, but again, you don't need it. But right now you're recording with your phone. So if you back, if you go way, way, way back, your recording's not gonna pick up. If you get one of those little clip on recordings, they're like, the cord's like six feet long and you can put your phone, you know, where you're gonna place it to record, clip it on or plug it in and then you can go six feet back and still have a good recording and it picks up very well. And it just clips right here on your lapel. But write that down, those are two little goals. Um, but be within two feet, two to three feet max of your phone while you're recording so that your microphone picks up a good sound. Because there's nothing worse than listening to somebody on YouTube and the recording is hard to listen to. People are gonna stick around. They're gonna hit that button and go on to something else really fast. Number nine is lighting. You wanna make sure the lighting is in front of you and not behind you. Think about, I, I know when I first started out, I had my desk sitting with the window behind me and I would record or try to record or get on a Zoom call or something. And I noticed I was always a shadow. Well, that's because the window, actually the window was in front of me and just blaring in on my face. So I had to change the wall of where I put my desk so that the, the window's now behind me. And I just don't like that scene still. So that's why it's not here today. But when I started out, I was playing around, but always make sure that the window is in front of you not behind you or the, the light. So if you're outside, make sure the light is coming in towards you or if you're in the house near a window. Um, so pay attention to that on your, on your um, recording, you're gonna see the quality change as the lighting changes. And again, that's something in the future, you can purchase lights if your house tends to be dark and, and you're noticing the quality's not there, then you can buy um, those lights, the big circle, circular lights and things like that. And again, you don't have to, there's a lot of, gurus out there that don't use all that i'm pretty sure um they were saying ray um not ray um gary vanchuk does not he uses his phone a lot so and look how big he is so don't feel like you have to go get these things but you can you can make great recordings without them and remember on your phone you have some really cool features like you could do slow motion you can do time lapses and the b-roll and things like that so play around with it and that's going to give you some different variety in your phone recording if you like to play around so that's it you've got 10 tips and hopefully you will get started if that's what was holding you back from getting started with youtube don't stop every just about everybody we know has a phone right and if you don't have one you can borrow one from somebody and do some recording um re transfer it to your laptop and then get it onto youtube and i've got a series of youtube videos that i made called youtube for beginners and you'll see that right here on this last screen go ahead and check those out i've really made i made my videos my how-to and my beginner videos 
in the moment when I didn't know how to do something so that I could share with you and other viewers on how to do it. Because one of the things I know that's really um, frustrating with starting anything new is trying to find information that applies to you as a beginner. There's a lot of information out there, but it's over your head right now. And you have to start at the beginning get those skills and then build up to those. So that's what that YouTube for beginners playlist is. And that will help you teach you how to upload your videos and things like that. All right. Before you go, make sure you subscribe and hit that bell. Uh, right. As of this video, I put out a video every day from Monday through Saturday at 3 30 PM Eastern standard time. So hopefully you're watching and you can get your business up and running and use YouTube as your main platform for promoting your business. All right. Have a good one.